Looks like you finally got the game running. Now this was the game I was talking about. No way, I love Spider-Man. I'm more of a Batman guy, but Spider-Man is in my top 10. Spider-Man is one of the most goaded characters to ever exist. And he pulls all the bitches like me. The only thing that you are pulling are more criminal charges. I can't wait to see how Insomniac made the high school. Of course, you'll think it's the younger Peter, but unlucky for you, this is a more mature version of Spider-Man. Damn, zero out of 10 game. I will not stand Spider-Man remaster slander Joe, so you better shut the fuck up. Fuck, man, do we really have to look at that version of Peter? Oh, right, this version they swapped out John Bubniak for Ben Jordan. Which was a terrible fucking choice. Peter should be shown as older, not younger. I don't really mind the change. What I do mind is how awful they poured it over the face. It's like they didn't even try. Yeah, if the face was done more justice, then maybe I'll get a boner for a while, but the face is just awful. You better watch what you say, Joe, before you get canceled. Well, we don't have to deal with the young Peter as I found a mod to restore the old face. Thank God for the modding community. Now all we need is a nude mod for all the female characters. You guys are just down bad. Can't even judge when you're married to a man. Joe, you better keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Enough talk, let's just play. Wait, I wanna go first. You can go first with another game, Joe. Damn, this feels nice. The swinging is so smooth. Just imagine if you could swing around places like that. Donald can't really imagine since his fat ass will just snap the web. Fuck you guys. You are just jealous of my peak body. If you think that your Eric Cartman looking ass is peak, then you live in a sad world. Get him. I don't know why writers keep telling us that Spider-Man doesn't kill. Half of this shit will literally paralyze someone. You gotta remember that Spider-Man always holds back on his enemies. You can see that in movies and shows, but in games, that's a whole different story. Like the Treyarch Spider-Man can just drop people from high places. You can literally kill people. Or hear how you threw him to burn to a crisp. Come on, come on. They shut the elevators down. Take the stairs. I prefer a more direct approach. If only he was younger, then I could have enjoyed this view even more. Keep that up and I'll leak the group chat. Whoa, Donald, you don't need to go that far. What the fuck, Donald? You know that you'll be in some deep shit as well. I'll just say that my part is AI generated. What is all that noise? One of the better things about this game, like goddamn Aunt May, you are one sexy lady. I think I would rather hear you say weird shit about young Peter right about now. Okay, you can say things about Peter, but please stop this shit with Aunt May. Come on, man. True, but that's part of my charm, isn't it? Damn you. Get that door down now! Fisk really resembles you, Donald. The only thing that we have in common is our incredible strength. Fisk has the body shape of a 300-pound life motherfucker. You should really look in a mirror, Donald. To them. We'll look for the bombs. We should honestly leave them. That's not what Spider-Man would do. And when did you think that Donald was a good person? If I was Spider-Man, I would be charging the shit out of people for just looking at me. God damn, that was hard. Holy shit, Donald, are you sweating? Donald, that was button mashing. That shit was clearly a full workout. It almost had me passing out. Incoming! They're clearly not messing around. That's enough out of you. Not even rockets can stop me. Even though you suck ass at dodging them. It's the controls' fault for not responding to my inputs. We'll be right behind you. Heads up, boss.
Do you ever wonder if the bad guys know of Spider-Man's spider sense? I mean, if they did, I don't think they will be trying this shit. Maybe they think that they can get a lucky shot or something? Guess we won't know. Oh, for me? You shouldn't have. How the fuck do we fight him now? Of course your dumbass can't figure this out. Let the professional do this. What's wrong, Willie? You seem angry. I will destroy you! Get your best shot. Holy shit, he is strong. Quite literally like me. Fisk has done much more physical activity in the past two minutes than you have done in your whole life. Huh. I was gonna say the same to you. You know what to do, man. Surround him. Right now, this boss fight is so easy. Maybe later bosses will add more difficulty. I just hope I don't get a hard one. Gotta go. Hey, good luck, Willie. I have a feeling you're gonna need it. Idiot! I'm the one who kept order in this city! One month! In one month, you wish you had me back! Criminals should be ashamed of themselves if they feared that fat motherfucker. Fisk would manhandle almost anyone. I think the criminals had the right idea to fear him. Parker, where are you? The committee will be here soon. Speaking about fat motherfuckers, here's another one. Only that this guy is a genius and a good guy. Damn, if only Donald used his billions for the people. I assure you, in the next phase... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> is there somewhere else we can discuss this? Maybe you should take the rest of the day off, Peter. But we'll talk later. If only Dr. Octavius was real, then I would have funded his projects. Man could have changed the world if his ego didn't get in the way. I would have closed down all his shit and instead let the pros handle it. You do know that Osborne stole from him, right? Fake news. He should really get that suit fixed. I'm not gonna lie, that suit looks uncomfortable. No kidding, every depiction shows it like if it was skin tight, his balls have to be hurting. Sweet. I called someone I could trust. Plus, the signals are scrambled and we have no idea how to fix it. Ooh. I love a challenge. You break it, you buy it. I thought you trusted me. I always hated this feature in games. Why can't we just have the whole map unlocked from the beginning? It's to invoke exploration to see what the world has to offer. It also makes you want to explore more of the game's secrets instead of just fast traveling to random shit. They got the best wheat cakes in the city, hands down. Mom used to make those. I haven't had any in a long time. I'll check it out. Thanks, spider guy. It's spider man. Oh well. I just wished we had better ways to help out the homeless population instead of trying to shut them out. They should just apply for a job and stop begging for others' hardworking money. Of course you have no sympathy for homeless people. You only see them as a disruption to your wealth. I would have placed them in facilities and then they would have not been homeless. Donald, those facilities are just your fancy way of saying that you would have most likely sent them to jail. Tools I need for suit repair at the lab. Looks like Peter is finally going to fix his suit. I'm gonna miss this classic suit. I think the upgraded suit looks cool. It's not bad. I just wish that they kept a more of a classic feel. Then it would have been a remastered or fixed version and not an upgraded suit. Fair point. Excuse me, wait for work! I think this is enough. No kidding, your ass is sweating like you ran a full marathon. There's no way that you're still tired from that button mashing. That shit was a full workout, Barack. You'll see when you get an event like that. Doubt it. I guess I will see you guys later then. Shit, man, I gotta door dash some food over here. I'm starving. Rock. Paper. Shoot. Shoot. What the hell are you two doing? We're deciding who goes next, and right now I'm winning. If I knew that you were good at rock, paper, scissors, then I would have went with arm wrestling. I may be old, but I'm still stronger than both of you combined. 
Joe, if you were to arm wrestle anyone, your arm will crumble in a matter of seconds. Shoot. Paper beats rock, and that makes me the winner. Damn. Well, I guess it's time to start the game. What are they doing? I'm gonna go find out. Huh. I just got a text from Doc. Looks like he attached an idea for a Spidey gadget. Man, does he ever stop inventing? Wow. This looks like it could work. Looks like Spider-Man is interrupting Fisk's hard-earned money. I highly doubt it was earned. Also, this looks like more than just honest business. You guys just don't know how the grind works? So let me give you rule number one. You do everything. Hey, hey. was nothing. I saw something move. He did. Wait, where are we supposed to do this? It was supposed to be stealth for the first part, but this is fine. You better not die, Joe. No villain in this game is worthy of a game over. I'll try my best. Place is locked down, Captain. Actually, web down. And someone finally reported shots fired, so I've got officers inbound. Good work. Fifth Looks like we have to stop more businesses. It's all part of the grind, Barack. I don't know why you don't understand that. Yeah, because illegally selling guns to people who commit mass murder is a grind. Sorry, guys, I thought that it was working correctly. Joe, you're lucky that we looked at the footage to see that it's all completely fucked up. The audio is there, but the video itself is like watching a PowerPoint. You're lucky that we didn't do anything too important. Sadly that we have to continue here. The Mary Jane parts are so damn boring. Now I'm kind of sad that I still have to play. Stay strong, Joe. Even I know this section is complete ass. I don't know if I have the willpower to continue. You got this, Joe? Just speed run through this. Norman Osborne. Holy shit, that might have been the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. No kidding. I almost fell asleep five different times while you were playing. It was a struggle, but we made it out. Let's just continue and hope for a better tomorrow. But it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much shakes Fisk. What the hell? I took everyone out. Expect that one. Can't even lie. I didn't even see that one person. At least it wasn't a real game over, so let's just ignore this and continue. I wonder why they don't react to some actual noise. Yeah, there's no way that no one heard that loud ass noise that Spider-Man just caused. Yeah, these guys are not the brightest. I'm more surprised how these guys fall for some of the distractions. You're the only ones that are there, and when you hear a noise, you check it out? No. Hide! I guess that hiding spot didn't work. Knowing her, she probably tried to get a better picture and got her ass caught. What the hell are these guys generating? The story will explain later. Right now, you better not lose, Joe. Yeah, we went easy on you because it was an easy mistake, but this time you better not actually die. I'm too cracked to ever lose, guys. Just watch and learn. I'm glad that Mary Jane broke up with Peter. I just wish that he would move on. Man has so much riz that any lady falls for him. Yet he still decides to stick with MJ. I mean, it's not a bad couple, but the recent comics of Spider-Man kind of ruined my view on this relationship. Never talk about that shit, Joe. That run quite literally ruined Mary Jane as a character. I hope that my team can get in contact with Marvel so I can force the fucking writers to make a happy story for Peter. The man really needs it. <laughs> That was a shocking turn of events. Joe, that didn't even make sense. Barack, that was electrifying. You just have no taste. Joe, shut the fuck up and just take down Shocker. Wow, that might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. I kind of want a different suit. Why? The upgraded suit isn't that bad looking. Looks like I got yeah, but when you can unlock more than just one custom suit, you might as well get something different. I guess we can look at ones we want since some will need tokens that we don't have right now. Dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? I have a feeling that he knows more than he leads on. Not a bad prediction, Joe. We won't try to spoil the game for you since me and Donald already finished it. Uh, yeah, what he said... Donald, you did beat the game, right? Of course I did, Barack. What do you take me for? A liar? Yeah, and I have a feeling that you stopped at the Mary Jane part. 
letting her Okay, write. fine. You know, I, I may have gotten here. bored and stopped playing when she came in the story. At least I won't be the only one with a blind playthrough. Yeah, let's see where this is going. Actually, Barack, what was that buzzing from before? What buzzing? Are you hearing things again? Nah, I made sure to take some Pepto-Bismol. Joe, that's not even the right medication for you. Where did you even hear this noise anyway? It was coming from Barack's pocket. My pocket? Maybe someone called me? So who called you? Oh, shit. I need to go. I think that was Michael that called. Damn, I guess we have to cut this short. All right, then. I'll see you later, Donald. Finally, it's my turn. It would have been more fitting if we started the Miles part. Yeah, mostly because he's exactly like you. Shut. Just because he's black doesn't mean that he is my favorite superhero. Sure, Obama. Let's just continue. Better get to work for that fitting. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. Easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. It's a shame that they had to shut him down. Yeah, he had so much potential. You guys are crazy. He was clearly a danger to everyone, even to himself. He was more of a genius than Osborne. He was just sadly not a good businessman. Which is sad that you need to monetize such world-changing technology. It should be locked behind a paywall after all we made it, so it's only right to get some money out of it. Of course, your greedy ass only thinks about money instead of the people. Joe, you cannot be talking with how you're sending money to every single place and not investing at least a portion of it to the U.S. Uh, hey, maybe we can talk about the suit we should use? I personally think that the upgraded suit is already good enough. Yeah, the suits that we have unlocked are pretty ass. Come on, there's some good ones here, like the DLC ones. Sorry, Joe, but there's only five suits that I like from the DLC. Let's just wear the Toby suit. He was the best Spider-Man after all. I think Tom Holland did good as Spider-Man. Maybe we can wear one of those suits instead? You can wear Iron Man Jr. in your own playthrough, but I'm going with the goat himself. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? Yeah. No? How about we thumb it? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? All right, he shouldn't be too hard. He's not the brightest, but he's still pretty deadly. The gauntlets are literally his only thing. He's forgettable. Now don't go and disrespect Shocker like that. He may not have the best showing in the game, but he's still a goat in other media. Honestly, Donald, this has to be your worst take. Give up now and we can protect you. No way. You ain't see what I see. Sorry, Herman. You brought this on yourself. Literally. Demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Not really a boss fight. Even Joe could have done that. Okay. Can't even deny that, but it looks like we have to fight some others. If they were anything like Shocker, then this is going to be a walk in the park. Maybe we should increase the difficulty if it gets too easy. Come on, Barack. It's already hard enough trying to keep track of all the movement. Then just get good. You know, we've done a lot of the main story, so let's do some normal Spider-Man activities. At least it gives life to the game and flushes Spider-Man a bit. Wait, there's side quests? Just keep watching. Anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. 
Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. That's Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold anything. Okay, looks like he's getting blackmailed. It's probably a dick pic. Honestly, if my dick was on the web, then the first people... Nope, 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 Joe, you better stop that right now. Gotcha. Very nice. Looks good. Looks like we found their hideout. Not very much of a hideout. Yeah, I was expecting some cool ass warehouse, not a random room. Let's just get the evidence. Maybe after this we can beat these guys. All right, Roman's ready and we are running late. Let's roll. They're on the move. I have all the evidence I need. Now I just have to stop that car. Okay, looks like you need to catch it. This should be easy enough. That's what you all think. Damn, I wasn't fast enough. I told you it was hard. Donald, I just failed a button press while you were out of breath for the whole session of playing. You really need to go on a diet. Dieting is for the weak. Dieting are for the ones who want to live longer. Listen up. Demons are making moves on all our caches. Lost two tonight already. Boss may be in lockup, but that don't mean his hardware's up for grabs. Com check, Eagle 2, you up? Eagle 2 reporting in, eyes on. What caches are the demons after? Need to take out Fisk's men and figure out what they're guarding. Whatever. Another damn stealth section. Just how many are there going to be? I don't really like these sections. Same, but at least they're not as bad as the Mary Jane parts. Seems like you've got it. Besides, I'm on watch. On watch. Great attitude, kid. He's <laughs> dead now. What? I didn't even see that guy. Of course, you screw up the simplest task, Obama. I can still salvage this. Well, at least it's not a forced stealth section. We legal searching. I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh, uh <laughs> just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. We'll find another way in. Now this should be your specialty, Barack. Very funny because I thought that being a criminal, you could have figured this out pretty easily. Again, with the propaganda, I just wish that my lawyers would clear my name already from this bullshit. Your name was already tainted with all the bullshit you've been doing. A few things. Okay, nothing illegal in plain sight. Kind of anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. The bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their- Actually, are we going to play Spider-Man 2 after we finish this game? Why, you don't have a PS5 or something? Do you have one, Donald? Of course I do, I have like 200 of them. What the hell, Donald? No wonder I can never find a PS5. Wait, you don't have one, Joe? Um, no, I've been trying to get one for over a year, but with me doing president shit, I've barely had enough time to actually get one. Sucks to be you, Joe. It should be easier to get one now, since not many scalpers are getting them. I'm gonna try and snatch one up this November. Why not now? You out of money? Yeah, I used up all of my allowance. Why the hell do you have an allowance? Because I won't have self-control and just use all of the money on ice cream. At least you're honest, but you should probably stop eating ice cream for a while. It's cleaned it since Al Capone. Big chunk of concrete in the way. That looks so unstable. Yeah, I wonder how the demons got to the other side without collapsing the supports. There, they blew the locks to get in. Demons. 
this. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop him. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get him! Find cover. At least Officer Davis is making himself useful by chugging grenades at the demons. Won't that just hit Spider-Man? I highly doubt that since his spider sense will just make him dodge it. Do they really think that they can escape? They clearly haven't faced Spider-Man before, so you better show them who runs this city. Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep. Kind of weird that it took this long to unlock fast travel. Yeah, but at least the swinging is fun. It's a bit slow for my taste. Anything is slow with your TikTok attention span. Wait, what are we talking about? Uh, 64476. That's Route 33. Truck's already left its shift. If your stuff's not there, you're out of luck. Wait, wait, please. This is important. Can you at least tell me where the truck is? Uh, let me check. All right. Looks like it should be at the municipal garage at Bowery and Grand. Got it. Thanks, Eddie. Municipal garage, Bowery and Grand. It's crazy to believe that such a famous hero just got evicted. I would just monetize the shit out of everything and charge anyone who mentions my name. I wouldn't go as far as this greedy bastard, but I would try to get a cut from merchandise at the very least. It may look bad, but it's a lot better than living check by check in New York. The prices there are criminal. No wonder you live there, Trump. It's exactly like you. Shut the hell up, Joe. New York is nothing like me. I think California is more like you, Donald. And I think that Detroit is more like you, Barack. After all, that's where... No, I think he's more like Texas, since that's where all his people live. Joe, you're the embodiment of Ohio, unwanted. Jeff, I'm here. What do you see? Find the rest. The boss wants them dead. Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got this? I got this. Looks like someone is trying to go against Kingpin. Then we better stop these crazy bandits from doing whatever they are trying. Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Saving bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought. I knew this operation was fishy. What do the demons want with Fisk property anyway? Doesn't matter as long as we stop them from disrupting a fine business. More importantly, let's save the people that are being attacked by the demons. They seem to be hitting this place a lot harder than usual. Maybe Fisk hid the Krabby Patty formula. Joe, that's a fictional place and recipe. I bet the Krabby Patty is some nasty ass vegan patty. Of course it's not. Haven't you guys noticed that there's barely any crabs in SpongeBob? It's clear as day that the source of the Krabby Patty is crab meat. Donald, the creator stated that the Krabby Patty has no meat in it. Besides, that's just a crazy fan theory with no actual proof. You better not let them get away, Obama. Shit, they're causing too much damage. We need to stop them before someone dies. I... 
You better hope you have some insurance on that building or you might as well have died. I think the people of New York are smart enough to get insurance, mostly with all the shenanigans that keep happening. Pretty unavoidable, but maybe the Avengers can pay for damages if a person doesn't have insurance. Where are the Avengers anyway? I think this needs a response from the Avengers. Probably sitting on their lazy ass and jerking off without a care in the world. At the very least, they can give a statement or send a D-list Avenger like Hawkeye. Better hurry so we don't miss the ceremony. Do we really need to go? They aren't even celebrating the real hero. Spider-Man may have done the heavy lifting, but that doesn't mean that we gloss over what Officer Davis did. Fine, let's just get this with this little ceremony out of the way. Not like anything bad is going to happen. Miles! Miles! So many died and we can't even do anything. This is awful. If only Peter wasn't caught off guard, then maybe he could have stopped some of the demons. Even still, many would have died. The demons have officially crossed the line with this massacre. They need to be stopped no matter the cost. Just who is behind all of this? <laughs> We have to leave, now. No way, it was Martin Lee the whole time. I knew he seemed suspicious, so this whole nice act was just so no one suspected him. can't believe he was the villain. All right, I'll see you guys later. You were awfully quiet, Barack. Why is that? Did you forget that he actually finished the game? Oh, right, I forgot. No surprise there, but either way, I need to go. My daily dose of McDonald's is coming up. So is Joe going to come anytime soon? He should be here any minute. Hey, sorry, guys. I got stuck in traffic. Hopefully, I didn't make you guys wait long. I mean, we're already playing and recording, but I guess this time you didn't just blow us off. Whoa there, Obama. I told you that I would only do that once. Joe, we specifically said that we would never talk about that moment. Okay. Oops, my bad. I don't know what the fuss is about, Barack. After all, this isn't even a surprise. I swear, Donald, if this is another joke about my wife. Joke? Barack, I think you need to start taking some of Joe's pills because you clearly don't know what's real or fake. Can you stop arguing for a bit? I'm trying to figure this puzzle out. Oh, great. Sleepy Joe is the one that got the controller. Come on, Donald. It's not like I'm that bad at the game. True, but don't change the suit. Looks I kind of like want to imagine that Spider-Man 4 wasn't canceled. That was a dark day for all Spider-Man fans. The most goaded Spider-Man acts just like that. If Sony didn't put their grubby little hands on Spider-Man 3, then I bet you my whole fortune. We would have had Toby on the Avengers. Shit makes me sad how they botched such a great film. If they hadn't added Venom to the movie and just made it about gotcha. Sandman, it would have been the best superhero movie to date. Okay, no lie. This is one of the few times I, I actually agree with you. Sandman's story in Spider-Man 3 brought a damn tear to my eye. And that deleted scene just put it into perspective how amazing that movie could have been. Too bad Sony still hasn't learned their lesson. Just what the fuck are they cooking? In all honesty, the only quote-unquote good thing they had is Venom, but even that is pretty ass. The real travesty was Madam Web. That movie, if you can even call it that, is so bad that I have to know what they were smoking. The worst part is that they are also trying to ruin Tom's Spider-Man. Such an amazing character is about to be ruined by adding unnecessary bullshit. 
I wouldn't call Iron Boy Jr. an amazing character, but it's still sad that Sony is trying to ruin whatever good they had with Tom's Spider-Man. Holy shit, I just remembered they aren't done yet. Oh, are you talking about that weird-ass Kraven the Hunter movie? Damn, I forgot that movie is happening. Not really happy that I was reminded that it existed. Trust me, Obama, if I could erase one thing from this world, it would be Sony's terrible universe that they created. I really hope that they don't ruin Into the Spider-Verse. I would legit nuke their whole studio if they touch my precious Gwen. Besides that weird comment for Gwen, I agree that if they ruin Spider-Verse, all hell would break loose. You know, why do the bad guys keep thinking that guns would work on Spider-Man? He is literally dodging the bullets in front of them. Uh, maybe it's one of those moments when you think that if you keep trying, it could actually work. But this is a seasoned Spider-Man. He's been at it for a couple of years by now. So the underworld should know not to use guns. Maybe it's all that brain trauma that we keep giving them. After all, they just keep breaking the law when there's a super-powered individual in the city. The worst part is that there's also supervillains just chilling in the city. Why would you want to commit a crime where you can get brain trauma or get murked by one of the supervillains for shits and giggles? You got to do what you got to do, Obama. I, for one, would make a hole in the wall and stick myself in it. Okay, instead of selling yourself, why not join a supervillain group? Only for my co-workers to snitch on me so they don't get every bone broken in their body? No, thank you. Wait, Spider-Man would never do that? That's until Spider-Man pulls up and doesn't quip, or worse, he's wearing black. Plus, Spider-Man is not the only superhero. Daredevil will beat you to unconsciousness and then have the nerve to tell you to talk. Ah, uh, yeah, there's never a moment where I could never want to skip this. Just those creepy thoughts to yourself? No one wants to hear about how you would want to bang Aunt May. Do you really think he can stay quiet, Obama? After all, we all know what he does to little kids. Come on, Donald, I just can't help it when I see a small kid. They're just so adorable that I can't help myself. Keep that to yourself, Joe. We don't want to hear about that. Why are we still watching this cutscene? Aren't we trying to figure out what Martin Lee is planning? Come on, Donald, it's just a small cutscene. That tells us nothing about Martin Lee and is completely irrelevant to what we want to know. Fine, Donald, we can continue on. Hold up, I remember this section. I think it's better to give me the controller, Joe. What? Barack, you said that you wouldn't spoil us? No, it's not that. This is a puzzle section, and frankly, I don't want to wait till the elections for you to finish. Come on, Barack, just give me a chance to prove to you that I can do this. Obama, you better not. Please, Obama, I swear that I won't say the N-word for a whole week. You shouldn't even be saying the N-word in general. Come on, Obama, I'll prove to you that I can do it. Fine, but if you need any help. Trust me, Barack, I won't need any help. Well, I'll just get started on my nap. Oh. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Oh shit, that was close. It's what, where am I? Well, I'll be damned, you actually did it. I told you Obama that I could do it. Well, let's just see how much time you actually took. Wait, you were recording my time? This is going to be good. Okay, let me see. Wait, you don't have to do that. What the? Come on, Obama, it can't be that bad. You took 18 hours, Joe. How can that not be bad? Jesus, how can someone be that stupid? Look, this puzzle was harder than it looks. I doubt it, Joe. But this is the last time you take on any puzzle. Oh, man. If only Martin knew that he was dealing with an incompetent Spider-Man. If I was the bad guy and Joe was Spider-Man, I would honestly feel bad. Martin. You're I would bad. lose a couple of times just so I can make him feel better about himself. Come on, I would lay the smack down on all the bad guys who stand on my way. I can at least see you beating like yes. some low-level crooks. Unlike Donald, who would just die the moment he does any web swinging. At least I would be pulling some hot bitches with my powers while you're stuck spreading your ass wide open for Michael. Shut the fuck up, Donald. The moment you get locked up, you're going to be everyone's bitch. Amen. I'll just have someone bail me out. I doubt that since your ass has to pay over half a million dollars to New York. I'm appealing that shit. Clearly they had a biased judge. Say all you want, but this next election is going to be a sweep. You're right about that, Joe, so you better keep my seat warm for when I come back to the White House. 
Calling agent stationed in the... Oh, hi, doctor. How are and you? just when I thought I had a good session, this fraud shows up. Donald, when will you admit that he is not a fraud? Some of his ideas are legitimately good. Too bad that those projects keep ending in failure. When will he learn that he can never match the raw intelligence of Norman? Norman hires other people to make scientific breakthroughs. When was the last time we heard Norman do anything besides antagonize the whole city? Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Okay, hand that over, Joe. Then when was the last time you heard Otto oh, do anything significant? About this circuit. To not be biased, both Norman and Otto haven't done much. And the only thing we have heard from Norman is from him doing his mayor duties, which haven't been received too well. That pretty much sums up the whole argument. None of them have done a whole lot as of recent, so maybe it's time to set this argument to rest? Not a chance. Well, it was worth a try. I'm gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. <sighs> MJ. I know, I know. Guys, I have a really bad feeling about this. What is this? Just listen. Oh no, it's a Mary Jane part. Come on, I don't wanna do this. Can someone please switch? Hell no, those sections are so incredibly boring. I would rather hear one of your speeches on repeat Facts. Sorry, Joe, you have to suffer through another one of these things. For the love of everything holy, let this end. Even watching you play this section is making me grow tumors. How about we rank the best live-action Spider-Man love interest? Please, I need any form of distraction from this hell. All right, Mary Jane from Toby's Spider-Man. Bottom of the list. She literally hooks up with any guy she sees, and it's baffling how Peter just takes her every time. She belongs to the streets. Preach Obama, she... Crap. Hide behind those boxes. What do you think I'm doing? That's raps, Joe. There's absolutely no way you can escape that. Oh, thank God. Damn, you got lucky, Joe. I just hope this doesn't happen again. I heard something. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't think you can escape this one. And I knocked over the boxes. No point in hiding now. Joe, please be more careful. I don't want to be stuck here for 18 hours. Let's just go back to the ranking. So what about Gwen from Andrew's Spider-Man? Anything is a step above from Toby's Mary Jane. Throughout the whole movie, she's supportive and stays loyal to Andrew. And she's actually helpful, unlike this Mary Jane, who's only a pain in the ass for Spider-Man. I say a solid B tier. But we all agree that Zendaya's Mary Jane is S tier. One of the few rare instances where the MCU does something right. She's funny, has great chemistry with Tom, and is not a hoe like Toby's MJ. Here we go. Finally, I made it through. This was so mentally tiring. I don't know if I want to continue on anymore. This MJ part killed my drive. Can't fault you there, Joe. This shit made me want to check in early with God. I'm going to go and just eat away my boredom. You guys want to join me? Let's go, Donald. Okay. We can finish this later. Again, Count me in, too. Since I know you're going to anyway, here. Man, it feels like we haven't touched this game in months. Glad to be back playing this amazing game. True, but I still wished it was teenage Peter Parker. This would have made this game ten times better. Joe, when are you not going to say something that could get you canceled? Oh, please, Barack. It's not like the whole world can hear these conversations, because if they did, I would personally start World War III. No arguments from me, but only if you target the Middle East first. Hey, Barack, when is the annoying orange going to join? Don't tell me he's still recovering from the assassination attempt. I'm surprised you actually remember Joe. How couldn't I? It's a tragedy that anyone would want to try and kill a former president. I still remember when news broke out when Abraham Lincoln was killed. Um, Abraham Lincoln died in 1865. Your point being? Never mind, but I just hope Donald's all right. So yeah, if I win, I'll not only get rid of these illegal aliens, I'll also make it mandatory that fast food chains get their $1 menu back. You hear that, Ronald? Give us our dollar menu back. Mr. Trump, can I ask you a question? No, not really, but I'm feeling nice. Thank you, Mr. Trump. So, as you may know, that there was a robbery that took place over a week ago, and one of the assailants looked to be you, Mr. Trump. Do you have anything to say about that? Yeah, all those rumors that are saying that that dastardly but handsome robber is me are nothing but bullshit besides the robber being handsome. Actually, people think it was queso with the way that guy was built. 
Boogie 2998 looking ass. Fat Albert, but if he was white. And. Got your bitch. Oh my god! Oh my oh 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 god! Here somewhere. Hey guys, how leaders. are you doing? Pretty good, but what about you? Must have been scary for the audience when they finally saw that big ass forehead you got. Damn! Shut the fuck up! My ass almost got JFK'd, and the first thing you guys do is make fun of me. Cry me a river. You're lucky this new generation can't aim for shit. Actually, the shooter was identified as Ben Shapiro. Reporters say that he was mad that you made him lose his job. What job? I never made him lose his job. You did when we robbed the bank last week. Because of the amount of money we stole, the bank had to let go of some employees, one of them being Ben. I swear, when I get my hands on that twerp, I'll ring him out. Whoa, what do you mean by that? Joe, get your head out of the gutter and instead focus on that re-election. As if, after that disastrous debate, your best chances are to just drop out. Yeah, right, Cheeto Dust. I ain't going anywhere. As your friend Joe, I think maybe it's time for you to drop out. You look more out of it than your son hitting the crack pipe. Come on, Barry, you don't actually think I'll ever drop out. I have to make promise of the American people of America of the United Kingdom. I mean, sauties. Just think about it, Joe. Just be glad that you were actually elected in 2020. Yeah, the election that you stole from me. Shut it, you fat Lorax. How many times are you going to spout out that malarkey? When you finally acknowledged that I was the rightful president of 2020. Guys, calm down. Let's leave the politics out for now. Even though I know you're going to bring it up again, Donald. Whatever. Show's over, Lee. Apparently the show's not over. This scene right here is what makes this a 4 out of 10 game. Just look how dirty they did Peter. What are you waffling about? Well, Joe, in case you forgot, which might as well be guaranteed, Spider-Man has his signature spider sense that warns him of incoming attacks. So, what's your point? Joe, you can't be this slow. But what Donald is saying is that in this scene, Spider-Man should have been able to dodge Lee's attack. Come on, sometimes things like these are needed so the story doesn't lose any tension, even if it means breaking some of the pre-established rules. It's called being lazy and uncreative. Donald, you can bitch about this all day, but Joe is right. For once in his life. Hey! You can't be expecting this shit to be consistent. Sometimes it's more fun to break those rules that were already created. Of course, it has to make sense and not be absolute dog shit like what Zeb Wells was printing. Fuck Jesus that guy. Christ. Talk about the worst writer in all of existence. I'm glad that Marvel finally did something right and fired his ass. He will not be missed, not one bit. All I hope is that Marvel continues to pump out that new Ultimate Spider-Man. Now that shit slaps. Never read it. I bet it's not even that good. Donald, your dumbass still thinks the new Megamind movie was a masterpiece. You have no say in this. Listen here, you ripe banana. The only reason Megamind did so badly was because it was given a lower budget than the original leading to the animation not being as good and not being able to match the superb story it had. Donald, that movie had so many more issues than just the animation. The fucking story is just a rehash of the goddamn video game. The difference is that the movie perfected what the game couldn't. Shut the hell up, Trump. Say more whack shit like that and I'll make sure the next sniper won't miss. Oh my God, do we really have to hear this annoying ass bitch? Donald, we can whine all we want, but that won't do anything. So let's just suck it up and go through this like we always do. Hold up, Obama, look a bit down. Um, okay. Damn, I thought at least looking at her ass would help with this horrendous experience. Another thing this game did horribly was how they removed any appeal that Mary Jane had. She's supposed to be the hottest girl that every guy would do anything just to get a handshake from. That's why the next Spider-Man game should take place in Peter's high school era. At the very least, we'll get some hot-ass characters. Jesus, no. I'm getting sick and tired of the same formula that these comic writers keep shelling out. That's why Spider-Man PS4 was a breath of fresh air. We finally got to see Peter in a more mature setting. Too bad they fumbled the bag with most of the characters. We are lucky that we got the Black Cat DLC. I'll proudly say that I busted a nut when she was revealed. Dog, what the fuck? Donald, no one wants to hear how you got off to Black Cat. How about we just cut to the part where we meet with Otto? What the? How did you do that? 
lore for a different video. Wait, so why didn't you just skip it from the beginning? Because I still had to play it. But like I said, that's lore for a future video. Well, the very least you could do is skip this fucking fraud. The only fraud here is your lard ass. Shut up, Sleepy Joe, says the one that rigged the election. Cry about it, Trump. Maybe I should call up Hit and make sure your ass is taken care of. Hit, who the fuck is that? Yes. He just threatened me and you don't even care? Donald, the only reason anyone would hit a headshot on you is because anywhere else the bullet would just bounce back. Not true. Then tell us your true weight, Donald. Maybe your lard ass can compete with Queso. Okay, let's just calm down. We both know that no one is heavier than Queso. Donald is a close second, but he's still not there. You guys can kiss my ass. Peter is starting to suspect. He hides it, but I can tell. He's seen my twitch. Notice the decay of my fine motor. Hmm. What the hell is that? Some sort of support? Yeah, Otto will build those tentacles later in the game to become Doc Ock. Why the hell would he make that? Because his body is failing him from a neural disease, just like how your body is failing from your old age. Come on, man. The one you should be targeting is Donald. His big ass is going to have a heart attack with the amount of Big Macs he eats every day. Oh, shut up, Joe. I have the greatest body out of all the presidents. Believe it. Here, I'll show you guys a picture of me working out. Donald, you send anything to the group chat, and I'll send Michelle after that ass. I knew Michelle was a man. What? No, I mean that I'll send Michelle to beat Donald's ass. Oh, thank God. My ass still hasn't recovered from the soap incident. Still, I think it's a good idea to create those tentacle arm thingies. Maybe I can replicate some of that hentai I'd be watching. How about we just forget about this topic before Joe says something that'll make us want to nail our balls to a wood board? Isn't that a bit extreme? Barack, if only you knew the whack shit that Joe sends me. It'll make you believe that lobotomy wouldn't be too bad of a process. Damn. What are you doing here? Hold up, is this Miles underage like the one from Spider-Verse? Let me guess, your favorite character from Spider-Verse is either Miles or Gwen? Actually, my favorite character is Spider-Man 2099. Really? I thought it was that weird anime Spider-Man. I think her name was Penny. I mean, she is really cute and sexy. You did not just say that. But honestly, 2099 is just a more compelling character than Penny. Plus, she barely showed up in Across the Spider-Verse. Only a simple cameo. What a waste of a cute character. Ah, oh, shit, Kamala is calling me. Just let it go to voicemail. Not like she has anything important to say. Nah, she said if I answer every call, then maybe she'll let me hit. Joe, you are married. Barack, have you seen what Jill looks like? Kamala isn't any better, but game is game, I guess. Why do I bother? See you guys later. Remember, Joe, you're the goddamn president, for now. So if she says something you don't like, remember to slap the black out of her. Roger that, Agent Orange. All right, peace. Look, Kamala, I'm trying to game with the boys, so make it quick. Why the fuck do you sound like that and why can I see subtitles? Good, I can finally have some peace and quiet without hearing your annoying ass laugh. Stop worrying so damn much. I'll beat him. Just you watch. Say no more. Hey guys, I hope I'm not late. Nah, you're right on time, George. We're just waiting for Donnie now. Didn't Trump said he hated that nickname? Yeah, but he's not here right now. Speaking of him, have you guys heard anything? Is he not going to join today? Man, I wish having a Donald free day would be a dream day. Yeah, we really can't escape him, but it shouldn't be a problem if we started without him. Bet maybe today will be a good day. With two war criminals, nothing can go wrong. Shut, Shut up, up, Joe. Joe. Okay, Vance, she should be here. And if you're wrong, I'm taking away your zebra leather couch. Okay, Trump, you got this. I just hope Melania doesn't get pissed. Even if she does, I'll just increase her spending allowance. Hey there, future wife. I, I mean, hey there, my arch enemy. I know we're supposed to be debating soon, but I just wanted to show you my appreciation. So do you perhaps want to go on a date with me? You good? You know you can just speak and subtitles can pop up. What the fuck?
I was just wondering, Obama, are we going to play your brother's game? Your brother made a game, Barack? What? No, he didn't. Joe, what the hell is your old ass talking about? You know who I'm talking about? Your homeboy, Miles Morales. He got a game for himself. Are we going to play that, or are we going straight to Spider-Man 2? Joe, if this wasn't over a Discord call, I would have slapped you so hard, you would be seeing your great-grandfather right about now. Oh, hey, Donald, you finally made it. Yeah, I bet you guys missed me, didn't you? Not really. I was actually happy for once. What about you, George? I mean, I'm still pretty neutral, so I guess I missed you. That's pretty gay, George. And here I thought the only zesty motherfucker here was Barack. Fuck you. You washed out ex-president. Hey, Donald, just what the hell took you so damn long? Was your greasy ass bankrupting another all-you-can-eat buffet? It's not my fault that the buffet couldn't keep up with my fast metabolism. Donald, the buffet ran out of food the first 10 minutes you arrived. They were lucky that I already had a meal beforehand. But if you must know why I'm so late, then I shall tell you. Look at Mr. Sophisticated over here. Shut it, George. I'll let you know that my grand plan of making Kamala fall for me was a complete bust. I'm more surprised we didn't hear this from the news with, and I quote, grab them by the pussy. It can feel nice sometimes. Joe, take your damn pills and fuck you, George. Well, he's not wrong, but I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty rusty, so this gameplay is going to be pretty ass. Not a very good impression for me, at least, but we'll see. Not a good impression? I bet we all thought that when you started an endless war with Iraq. Yeah. And we all realize that the president is a child-sniffing sick son of a bitch. I quite want to I'll take this! What are you doing to me? Giving you a new perspective. I wonder what would happen if Martin decided to do that to me. He'll either become brain dead or go insane from the things he saw in that twisted head of yours. Probably both. If he read Donald's mind, he'll just automatically gain 400 pounds and start craving Big Macs 24-7. And if he read George's mind, he'll start targeting tall buildings and ride more planes. Fuck you with your yee ass haircut. He won't change much if he read Barry's mind. What makes you say that? I mean, he's already robbing and running away from the cops, so nothing really changes. Maybe he'll learn how to shoot a gun sideways. At this point, I'm becoming numb to these racist jokes you keep spouting. And no, Donald, you can't say the N-word. So-called superhero. You think you save people, but you just make it worse. This is your fault. My fault? He was under your protection. You really need two of those? <laughs> Stop! We need to brief Mr. Osborne now. Damn, bitch. If your security wasn't so ass, then maybe we could have actually succeeded. This. It was a garbage excuse is what it was that shit was already being attacked and would have fallen quicker if Spider-Man didn't intervene. I hate it when people blame the hero, but don't realize that without them, they are cooked. And I also hate how game publishers push this bullshit girl power. Do they really expect us that she can land any punches on Spider-Man? Donald, the only reason why she was able to land a hit on Peter is because he always holds back. We see the crazy shit he can do, but do you expect that type of strength when he's fighting a random robber? Maybe if he's fighting one of your brothers, he'll stop holding back. Then you won't be bothered if some of my homeboys started a train on Melania. It's funny to assume that Melania would ever agree to that when she has me. She texted back and agreed. Wait, what? Yeah, Trump, everyone has taken a turn with Melania. Except me, she says I'm too creepy. Do you blame her? I'm just joking, Trump. Well, she did text back and agree, but I actually won't do it. Barry, I've been divorced twice now. A third one is not going to hurt at all and I'll keep doing it until they finally realize who really has that big, long, fat ju- Okay, we get it. You don't have to go into detail. Damn, Devil's Breath is gone. I should call MJ and Warner. This is Mary Jane Watson. Please leave a detailed message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. What are you up to now, MJ? God damn it, just how many more times do we have to keep dealing with this shit? I don't know, Donald, but I'm getting tired of it. Wow, I know the Mary Jane parts are pretty slow, but it's like you guys get physically hurt by just playing this. George, I would rather reveal my search history to the whole world than to sit here and play as Mary Jane in a Spider-Man game. Yeah, that's pretty valid. You know, I like it when they focus on these stealth sections. I know Spider-Man is supposed to be beating up bad guys, but sometimes physical strength isn't everything. When hasn't beating up someone solved an issue? 
I th Joe, I'm going to stop you right there. How about we change the subject? Have you guys been playing any games recently? I barely have any spare time to fully game. I'm trying to win an election here. I know your Cheeto dust ass at least plays some mobile games. He does actually, at the shootout at McDonald's, I saw Donald playing some Block Blast. Wait, isn't it that super addicting game that every person has been playing? Joe, we're not sponsored, so you don't have to do all that. Yeah, we're probably never going to because Donald here is a serious brand risk. And don't even say fake news, Trump. Your own handlers are trying to convince you to have a closed mic in the coming up debate. They don't know what they're talking about. The only reason why I had a closed mic with the slime ball over there was because he was my friend and I decided to go easy on him. Really, Donald? That's so kind of you. Joe, do you actually believe that? Never mind what Joe believes. Let's just go back to the question. I've been playing Honkai Impact the third. What about you, George? Wait, let me guess. Flight simulator with the Twin Towers add-on. Keep talking and soon a plane is going to crash right onto Trump Tower. Just ignore him, but what games do you play, George? Well, I mostly play MMOs, but lately I've been playing Dying Light and Dying Light 2, which might be the best zombie game to ever release. Well, not so much the second one, but definitely the first one. Is that why this video came out a lot later than what it was supposed to? Yeah, sorry about that, guys. What about you, Barack? Any other games you play? Well, besides Spider-Man and Batman, I usually just play custom COD Zombies maps. I'm really excited for Black Ops 6. Please getting away. Finally. Sorry I'm late. It's kind of my thing. Oh man, I just hope that big booty alien with a tight red skinned costume doesn't come and starts choking. Okay, Joe, that's enough. For a second, I thought you were talking about the train scene, but I was clearly very wrong. What train scene? There was no train scene in Fortnite. Did I just hear that correctly? What are you guys talking about? Joe, I'm so disappointed right now. I'll finish this up and then I'm heading to buy some missiles so I can drone strike some Middle Eastern civilians. Maybe that will cheer me up. Come on, man. No brakes, no problem. Ah, it totally worked last time. Yuri, they still doing construction on 42nd and 1st? Streets closed for another month. Why? <laughs> Next up, prison. All right, this is about it. See you guys next time. Oh, and Donald, you should probably go check on Mar-a-Lago. Barack, what did you do? You should probably go check it out. Damn, you're really upset. Come on, Barry, you know I was just joking. I guess I should go now. See you next time, George. Spider-Man, just whatever a spider can. Spins or weather, 80 size, can't you see? Joe, what are you doing? I'm singing Obama, I thought it was pretty obvious. I think we're smart enough to know what singing is. Yeah, and it sounds like you're having a stroke right now. Come on guys, it's not that bad, plus I have to pass time while we wait for Donald. Well, can you do that by not assaulting my damn ears? Again? This feels like an overused trope at this point. Not our fault that Trump keeps getting himself into bullshit. Are we talking about the deal he announced to end the war with Ukraine or how he almost got assassinated? No lie, John F. Kennedy is probably fuming with how Donald keeps getting the worst assassins known to mankind. Maybe that Donald Luck is actually real. Shit, if this keeps going, maybe Waltz will get cooked this October 1st. I won't go that far, but at least the shooter is dead. He isn't dead, they just arrested him. Joe, do I have to keep reminding you to take those damn pills every day? Calm down, guys. I was just reporting what my Secret Service told me. That guy who was arrested is just an undercover agent. We don't want to reveal the truth after all. Wait, so that guy that was arrested was entirely made up so you can cover up the truth? That's messed up. It's the government, George. It's what we do best. A little bit too real, Joe. My bad, but we do know who sent the assassin, at least. Wanna guess? Joe, just tell us and stop doing this kindergarten shit. Fine, you guys are no fun. All right, then spill it out. The one who sent the assassin was none other than Ben Shapiro. That little twerp is still mad at us. He's still holding a grudge? Oh yeah, you guys told me you screwed over Ben like a month ago? It was more like Donald and Obama screwed him over. That doesn't stop him from trying to kill you, Joe, and maybe now George. 
the hell did I do? Nothing, but I bet he doesn't care. Luckily, he hires the worst people to do his dirty work. I bet he gets his people from Craigslist. God damn it, I hate wearing this with the headset. Wait, are you wearing a helmet right now? Of course I am, George. Haven't you seen the news? Fuck! Told you topple towers, now you better send me those $20. Were you guys fucking betting? Calm down there, lard ass. It's not like any of the assassins actually succeeded. No shit, Sherlock. Who's Sherlock? Come on, Donald, don't be such a hard ass. Obama, my life is literally always in danger. Welcome to being a politician and not some super celebrity. Plus, you're acting like you won't be doing this if it was me or Kamala on the other end. That's because if my ass gets 360 no scoped, then people would have to vote for Kamala. Won't it go to Vance instead? I'm making sure his ass doesn't get elected. It's either me or no one. Hello? Parker! <laughs> Just in time to celebrate. Celebrate? Wait. Where are the arms? And we finally get to see Dr. Octopus. Man, this is a throwback to when I first saw this guy. The 90s Spider-Man cartoon was when I was first introduced to this guy. Really? The animated series was when you first saw him? What? Are you going to tell us that you were there when the goat himself was created? Hell yeah, I even got the first print of the comic. Just how old are you, Joe? I was here when dinosaurs were a thing. Granted, I was the only human at the time, so I had to do what I had to survive. Oh, well, I'm surprised that you didn't just tell us something so depraving. George, why the fuck did you say something? George, I pray for your downfall. You're right, George. How can I ever forget my first ever time mating with a dinosaur? That's not the one I want to remember. So, how are things with MJ? Oh, it's, uh... Well, you know, she's, uh... It's, uh... It's, it's, it's complicated. Honesty. That's what got me and Ben through the rough patches. You guys had rough patches? Oh, sure. Especially when we were your age. So, are you honest with her? Does she know the real you? Hey, turn it up. I want to hear this. A spokesperson for the police. Oh, Aunt May, I wish you here by my side. I hope they make an Aunt May body pillow. Dude, you're disgusting. Why Aunt May? Why not someone else like Black Cat? I think those do exist. And we can't forget the Peter one for you, Obama. And why would I want a Peter Parker body pillow? Didn't you ever want it to be fucked by a BWC? A BWC is fucking crazy? Wait, how would you know that Peter- Stop, this conversation is ending right now. My bad Obama didn't mean to make you horny. Please Lord, give me the strength to not absolutely manhandle these fools. How about we just focus on what the game wants us to do? Which was? If you were paying attention instead of being an asshole, then you would know that right now some demons are attacking the van that has the devil's breath. I recommend Listerine to prevent that bad breath. Just know that after swallowing your will have some stomach issues. No, Joe, we meant the chemical weapon. Plus, mouthwash should never be swallowed. So that's why I keep getting my stomach pumped. The devil's breath is gone, but we got even bigger problems. Rikers? We have to hurry, hop on. What happened? It was a coordinated attack. Must have been planned from the outside. Every cell block is breached. We're minutes away from every prisoner and Rikers walking right up Fifth Avenue. So all of this was a diversion. Sounds like Dr. Octopus is on the move. All the more reason why he's known as the most dangerous member of Spider-Man's rogues gallery. What about Paul? We don't speak about him, Joe, ever. My bad. I actually remember seeing gameplay of this area. So that means that we're going to see the Sinister Six. Man, I wish that we get to see the Sinister Six in live action one day. That will only happen when Sony stops being so fucking stupid. How are they fucking up easy money? Honestly, it's been a while since we saw the GOAT Tom Holland on screen, the best Spider-Man. It would be nice seeing him take on his Sinister Six. Joe, if you don't want me to come over to your house to fold you like a pretzel, then you better keep those shitty takes to yourself. Saying that Tom Holland's Spider-Man is the best is more of a war crime than what Russia is doing to Ukraine. I would agree, but you know better than to follow the fake news, Obama. Says the one who completely grazes a dictator because he strokes your own ego. Okay, looks like things are somewhat under control. I thought you said the raft was secure. It was. Let's go. 
Maybe it's not as bad as it looks. I love the optimism. But in my experience, when it looks bad, it's usually worse. Look out! Ah! What a shock to see him. Joe, you're not funny. As much as I want to see a comic accurate shocker, I think the bright yellow suit would just look too goofy. But they also have to stick to the comic suit, or we'll get another Tasm II Rhino. Oh my god, I completely forgot about him. You know what else I forgot about? The live action Rhino we're going to see in the Craven movie? I thought they scrapped the movie. Nope, it was just delayed. Oh my god, and we just had a goaded version of Craven. You never know, Donald. Maybe this version is going to surpass Spider Man's 2 Craven. Joe, take your pills or you'll keep spouting out nonsense. I just hope that the Venom movie will at least be decent. The Venom movies are not the greatest, but at least they're not the worst. It'll probably be just another fun Venom movie. What about Null? Don't you think they'll do something with him? Knowing Sony and how they botch the simplest things, they probably just threw him in there and we'll have no more than three minutes of screen time. Dashing, where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. And the gang's all here. Man, in almost every media, the Sinister Six, or whatever they are called, are a force to be reckoned with. And the jumping they did to Peter here was so dirty. Let's stay quiet and speak our thoughts after this brutal beatdown. Good idea. In fact, we don't have to do this at all if you don't want to. We definitely want to. Each of you has a job to do. Your debts will be repaid when we're done. Go! There he is! This is the type of timing my ops will need to bring me down, as Obama's kind would say. Bro, you couldn't last one day without saying something racist. It's in my blood. Obama being racist is just like being good at basketball if I was black. It's still baffling that people are supporting you, but at the same time, Biden supporters exist. Granted, it was either Joe or Trump. Fuck you guys. The only reason I truly dropped out was because no one would be able to handle a second term with me. Yeah, because you would have fucking run this beautiful nation to the ground. As if you would do any better, mister, I have a concept. My plans are too great to even speak out. They have to be implemented to be believed. That is some horse shit, Donald, but I guess we have to wait until November. This country is so cooked, man, but I'm lucky that I can at least spend all my free time playing with my friends. That goes down the drain if Trump gets elected. We'll be playing Fallout in real life. Don't worry, guys. I'll wait until you guys reincarnate and then we can continue playing. Joe, you are not living through the apocalypse. You are not the main character. We'll see about that. You picking cotton. Man, I can't believe we're halfway through the game. And I just barely got here. Can't believe we're about to finish the game. Well, the main story is almost over, but that doesn't mean the game is over. If the story is over, then that means the game is over. Are you stupid, Joe? I don't think we need an answer to that. Come on, man. My old ass sometimes can't think of proper sentences. Yeah, we can definitely tell. Fuck off, Barry. All I was saying was that we still have the sequel to beat. Then say that, you walking cryptic. Fuck you guys. I'm leaving this shit. I guess I'll see you guys next time. Maybe by then we'll have a proper schedule. I doubt it, Barack. I just hope this debate goes to my favor. Good luck with that. See you guys and take care. <laughs>